Congratulations, you made it to Friday without being crushed by space debris or eaten by gorillas. And as a special treat, you get me, Brian Altano, hosting your entertainment fix. Now today we got James Gunn's comic book recommendations, Pedro Pascal nearly forgot he was cast in The Last of Us, and Seth Rogen credits the boys' success to the MCU. Let's dive in. <laughs> Earlier this week, DC Studios co-CEO and part-time MCU filmmaker, that's going to take a minute to get used to, James Gunn laid out the studio's new multi-year plan for their film, TV, and games properties. And being the comic book nerd that he is, Gunn listed off a few comics that definitely fly under the radar of casual fans. Among the new movies on the DCU slate is The Authority, based on characters from the Wildstorm imprint of DC Comics. Originally, Wildstorm characters were separate from those in the regular DC Comics continuity, but during during the new 52 reboot of DC Comics, characters from Wildstorm started making their way over. The Authority are a team of superheroes who, as James Gunn describes, are superheroes who think the world is broken and they're willing to do anything to fix it. It's also a passion project of Gunn's, who's apparently a big fan of the Wildstorm brand of comics. Anyway, according to Bleeding Cool, Gunn's announcement had an effect on comic book sales for The Authority, with The Authority number one going for 550 bucks on eBay. That particular copy had a rating of 9.8 from the CGC, a company that specializes in grading collectibles. So The Authority might not be a household name just yet, but neither were the Guardians of the Galaxy. And thanks to James Gunn, who wrote and directed that whole trilogy for Marvel, we all know who Rocket Raccoon is. So pretty soon, if I mention The Midnighter or The engineer, you won't look at me like I just made up some superheroes while under the influence, which I've been known to do. And speaking of which, Pedro Pascal nearly forgot he was cast as Joel in The Last of Us series because of Ambien. Yeah, the drug. During an appearance on The Tonight Show, Pedro Pascal revealed that he had taken Ambien to help him fall asleep and then woke up forgetting that he had earned the part of Joel Miller. And they were like, will you stay up uh, a little bit later? At this point, it was getting kind of late in London uh, to talk to Neil Druckmann, the creator of the video game. And then I, and then at that point, it's, it's really late. I've got to get up in the morning. Uh, I take an Ambien yeah. to go to sleep just in case. I, 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 I'm, they've got my adrenaline kind of going and my, my, my hopes up. Um, I, but I get a call and I get told that I got the job after I took the Ambien. Oh, no. And so I was excited, I guess, but I didn't remember. I woke up in the morning and the first thing that occurred to me was like, oh man, I really want that job. <laughs> now, I'm in London, they're in LA, I'm gonna wait by the phone I'll all day come. long, this hasn't happened in a while, you know? I'm gonna be longing and I'm gonna think about it all day long. <laughs> yeah, it was like, oh, congratulations, so happy for you when I looked at my phone and I was like, oh yeah, I got the job! <laughs> yeah. The Last of Us has had a huge start on HBO with the premiere episode nabbing 4.7 million viewers, the second best debut for HBO in the past decade with House of the Dragon coming ahead. Ambien, don't take it when you get a huge news that's good, because you won't remember it. That's my commercial for Ambien. <laughs> Switching gears back to comic book adaptations, Seth Rogen credits the boys' success to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Speaking to Total Film, Rogen, who executive produces the boys for Amazon, said he doesn't really connect to the MCU since it's mostly kid-friendly fare, and the boys most definitely isn't. But with the MCU being so massive, with multiple billion dollar grossing films, it did open the way for a counter movement to exist, which is where the boys comes in. Rogan said, quote, I think that Kevin Feige is a brilliant guy, and I think a lot of the filmmakers he's hired to make these movies are great filmmakers. But as someone who doesn't have children, it is all kind of geared towards kids. And that's where shows like the adaptation of Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson's The Boys can exist. Rogan explained, quote, I think just as naturally to us as The Boys fell into the comic book store landscape as a comic, we thought it would fall into the media landscape as a TV show. But truthfully, without Marvel, the boys wouldn't exist or be interesting. I'm aware of that. And that's all for today's Entertainment Fix. If you're looking for something else to watch, check out our explainer on Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, one of the comics that'll be used as inspiration for the new DCU. Follow IGN on your social platform of choice. You're, you might be already there already, but you should just unfollow, refollow. And for more pop culture and gaming news, you're already in the right place. So don't close this browser tab. Keep it open. It'll just keep playing videos for the rest of your life. What a thrilling time that will be. Thanks for watching. <laughs>